Replaced Dr. Silver after he suffered from a stroke. Dad, if they don't let me play, I'm quitting school. Hold, hold it now. You're playing football is important, but your education is still number one. We always agreed on that. I want to bust the place up. All right, all right. Now we'll fight him. But we'll do it through the proper channels and without losing our heads. Am I handicapped? Answer me, am I handicapped? Am I? No. Huh? No, I said no. Come on, John, I'm gonna back you up. Huh? I'm gonna back you up. Can I handle that? All right, then, come on. It's all right, it's all right. All right. Good. By a majority vote of five to one, the board has approved funds converting all hand towel dispensers in the toilet areas to electric drying machines. <laughs> and now to the uh, next order of business. Uh, uh, Mr. Coluccio, uh, I have your letter here requesting uh, consideration of your son's case. Ah, you have the floor, Mary. Thank you, Mr. Henderson. Um, I'm here seeking to overturn a decision passed by Dr. Bowers prohibiting my son from playing football. The directive is arbitrary and discriminatory. Discrimination is a very strong accusation. I'll prove it to you. All right. How? By demonstrating that my son can hear normally with his hearing aid on. John, would you step up here? Uh, Mr. Coluccio, um would you have your son remove his hearing aid? Why? I've just proved he can hear me even when my back is turned. Then, can he hear without his hearing aid? Excuse me. Um, Mr. Henderson? 
Well, would you be able to read without your glasses, sir? All right. I removed my glasses. I can still see. But can you hear without your hearing aid? Mr. Henderson, may I say something, please? Go ahead, Coach Rizzo. Well, uh, I just want to say that John Carluccio is about the best player I've ever coached. I'd play him if he were cockeyed and horsetail. <laughs> Thank you. Can we proceed now? The board should immediately reverse Dr. Bauer's decision. Now, uh, just a moment. There are six members on this board, and we are trying objectively and democratically to examine both sides of the question. Now, I don't think we can take a vote until we've consulted with Dr. Bowers, the legally appointed medical examiner of this district. I will submit a written report to the board. Good. We'll convene again in two weeks. Meeting adjourned. Sure, John. How's that feel? Feels real good, Coach. Thanks. Uh, let's see. How'd you like to take out the ball bag, huh? Sure. Okay, come on, everybody. Finish dressing outside. Come on, Bobby. Let's go. Move it. Come on, outside, everybody. Take it easy, man. Dr. Bowers? Your father was very insistent that I speak with you. So, uh, pull up a chair. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. What did I say, precisely? Can you hear me? Well, according to your records, you lost the hearing in one ear and 50% in the other at the age of eight. Yeah, that's right, a swimming accident. And uh, you played football since the age of seven. Um, Dr. Bowers, does it say anything in your records about fact that I played violin since the age of three? Oh, yes, yes. Extraordinary. Well, <clears throat> remove your hearing aid, please. I don't please. see the point. Now, I must have your cooperation. What? Well, that's all right, son. I've been asking you to count from one to ten. It, it's all right. Remove the hearing aid, please. Why are you doing this to me? Please understand me. My only and primary interest 
is the preservation of whatever little hearing you may have left. It's only a minor disability. You don't read lips? Can you do sign language? Hell no. Why should I? Well, I wish it were only a minor disability. But I'm afraid it's much more than that. The way I see it, you endanger not only yourself by playing, but also your teammates. We haven't had an injury in two years, and I've proven my abilities. At best, I'd say you've been lucky to get away with it as long as you have. You're turning me into some kind of freak. That's preposterous. I'm acting in accordance with my best judgment. I... Nothing wrong with you, man. Yeah, they ought to bring Doc Silver back. I don't know. Maybe that doctor's got a point, you know? That's rotten coming from you, Lance. You've got asthma. What makes you so different from me, huh? What makes you different from me? Come on, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's only, huh? All right, now. One, two, three, four. Wait. No, 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 no. You see, it all begins with scales. You must practice your scales every day. They are your voices. The maestro, Pablo Casal, said scales were his teachers. They liberated him. Trumpets, again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, John, John. Lisa, take over. Don't jeopardize the good things you have going for yourself. Like what? Da, da, da? Yes, absolutely, da, da, da. Take what's happening as an opportunity to concentrate on what's really important. Get off your eye horse, will you, Grandpa? You know what's important? What's important is that I don't feel like playing today. That's what's important. And it's my own decision. My own damn decision. So go da, da yourself. Better be worth it. I don't find this one bit of music. It's not meant to be. All right, come on, let's circle up. Let's go, doctor. Let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go, come on.
I don't want to hurt the guy, you know. Come on! Come on, this is John's chance to prove himself. my neck out and this is the way you repay me. He huh? asked for it. I don't care who asked for it. You know my rules. No fighting. Well, I'm sorry. That's not good enough. Now, go on. Take your uniform off your throat. Go on. Beat it. Get out of here. Get out. I knew you creep. You're suspended. <laughs> what about tomorrow's game, coach? I said you're suspended. Till tomorrow. Now shut up! Pops. Oh, hi, Johnny. Hey, you're a little early, ain't you? Yeah, I didn't have any practice today. So you have a soda or something? Oh, yeah. Chris is there, huh? Yeah, he's wish to help him, Russell. He's as welcome as a skunk at a church social. Now, don't you go getting into no trouble, do you hear? suggestions. Okay, well, take it from the hook. Okay. Yeah. Try country love. Country, country love. Why don't you, um, why don't you come on out, Sammy, bring your axe and sit in with us and help christen it? Well, I had a blast last session, so I'd love to. Okay. okay. See you then. Okay, Sammy. All right. Election time, Herman. I want you to meet. We've got uh, Herman here and Jess. Hey, hey, what you say? Come on over to our table. Meet a couple of foxy ladies. U.S. gridded prime beef. Here we got we got Samantha and Linda. This is John Tiger Carluccio, Mr. Gridiron himself. never figures. Hey, how's your dad? He's doing pretty well. 
I just got promoted to district sales manager at Metro Life. Metro Life? Hmm? Yeah. It's kind of like my old man. He got promoted from Solid Dad to Sing Sing. <laughs> Yeah, some quack doctor who barred me from all contact sports. Want my boys to squeeze his nose a little? Nah. <laughs> John. Yeah, man. You don't have any coach on your back to worry about now. Welcome to the adult world. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, he's been going through an awful lot lately. Yes. Of course we'll do what's necessary. Okay. Seeing rich. Cheers. <laughs> trying to get kicked out of school or what? Come on, who cares, huh? Where's your PRID? PRID. <laughs> what is this, a spelling bee? <laughs> no. It means pride. Well, I don't see anybody here asking your opinion. Trizzo sees this. You'll never get back on the team again. Never. What's the ball? Let's see if you can spell this out. You tell Coach Trizzo to take it and shove it. with you. No way. I don't blame you for feeling bitter. I'm gonna kill somebody. Hey, look it. There's a lot of things you can do to fight back. But hanging out with Epps Gorillas, that sure isn't the way. Are you gonna start preaching? Look it, you do whatever you want. You just let me say this first. A skunk don't stink all the time, but if you don't watch out, it'll spray you. Why don't you lay off Chris? It'll spray you. 
<laughs> it'll spray you. Jeez. If you don't watch out, it'll spray you. Fire? Fire. It's got to be shell. I don't know. Whatever it is. It's heavy duty. Oh, it's heavy duty. Just share some of the stuff in the smoke. Huh? <laughs> if you don't watch out, it'll spray you. Hey, listen. Forget this. You're still one of us. Nothing's changed. It's all in your mind. The guys need you. You mean that? Who's more psyched up than you anyway? Come on, let's go down to work. Sure. Ah! <laughs> oh, by the way, I got dynamite check. Oh, it's just iron to me. What, another one of your hot wine dates? No, 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 thanks. No, 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 no. thanks. No, thanks. No. Let me gear up and get in there and run a couple of plays just to keep my time sharp, huh? I can't. Where you going? I bust my chin strap. Well, hurry it up. All right, all right, all right, let's go. Huddle up, huddle up. Quiet. All right, quiet down now. That was good. That was very good. I want you to run How's it going, John? Let's break it more to the outside. Okay, let's go. Hey, 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 all right. That's good, that's good, very good. All right, all right. Okay, come on, come on, let's huddle up, huddle up. Come on. All right, let's go, Lance, let's go. Darcy, Bob. How about yourself? You miss your play, man. I'll be seeing you around, John, huh? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Van is ball, first down. You know the play, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Come on, make it look good now. Let me... You get any money tonight, Bob? Yeah, broke even. <laughs> ah, boy. You need a lift? Ah, uh, no, not tonight. I think I'm on a bike at home. Oh, take it easy. <laughs> All right. Uh, Johnny, come here. Uh, just a word of advice. Life is fun. Sometimes you're the bug, and sometimes you're the windshield. <laughs> sometimes I'm the what? You know what I mean. I know you've had it rough, but this ain't the answer. Now, you've got a real good future if you just stick to your music and your school books. This ain't for you. You just give some darn serious thoughts to what I've said to you.
Yeah, sure. I'm finished anyway. Anyone there they'll stand in line to see? Sure, selling hamburgers at McDonald's. seem a little dim right now. Like my old coach always used to say, every adversity, every headache carries with it the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit. Or it sucked, Dad. Listen, John, um, did you ever think perhaps there might be some truth in what the doctors say? There's the doctor. Take it easy. I'm just questioning. What the hell is that a question? Risk of injury. Injury? Injury. You know, that's all I've been hearing lately, injury. You just don't understand, do you? Well, you think I don't know? I was headed for college sophomore of the year honors. Just because you got hurt doesn't mean I'm going to get hurt. Right, all right. What, do you think that's going to get you where you're headed? Great deal, so I smoke a little. The point is, John, you're breaking the rules. Now, if you want to win, you do it with some discipline and not falling Why apart. Just get off really my goddamn sorry Why for yourself. Get off my back. What's Jesus. the matter with you, John? Come on, hit me again, big shot. What difference does it make? We'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, me. I got a song coming out of the end of my pen. Fifty. Two or whatever hard times that I had seen. Play the country fiddle. I'm getting with Jimmy O now. Did I see you coming in with Chris? Yeah, it's no big deal. Besides, I thought he was your friend. He is. But I've known him since kindergarten. Well, I'm here with Sam. Sam? Samantha, the blonde. Oh. 
She's my cousin. Anyway, she asked me to tag along. Who are you here with? An old friend. You're losing your touch, John. You're not kidding. Lately, I'm batting a big fat zero. Hmm. I know someone that can end that batting slump. You're serious, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> go. Yeah, you go. Scared? Oh, one nice one for you. I had a big one. Go. <coughs> I mean, you look like a little kid sister to me. Maybe not that little anymore, but... Besides, your brother Pat would murder me if I ever laid a hand on you. Who said I'd let you? You want to dance? Make you feel good. Come on. Go. Yeah. Huh? Come on. Two toots are better than one. He didn't lose his touch. He did it. He did it. Let's do it. Come on. I can't believe this. 
Where the hell have you been?
trust you. Don't hang us up. Right? All right. No more questions. I get you. John, Corey wants to talk to you. Corey? The police got Herman. That's too bad. You can thank Chris for that. Chris blames you. He told Sam that he lost control of the limo because you bugged him. Psycho. I don't want anything to do with him anymore. It's so pretty here. Yeah, sometimes I come down here and I play my violin. There's something very magical about nature and music. You love your music, don't you? Yeah. I can remember my grandfather putting a violin in my hands when I was three. Now, he'd like to think I'd become another Yasha Heifetz. You never know if you really studied. Well, I don't know. Now, my dad, he was supposed to become another hyphen. But he wrote poetry and played football until he hurt his knees. Did he ever publish any of his poems? No. I think he sent some out once. But they got rejected. He lost heart. And then he got into selling insurance. But your grandfather went wild. Poor dad. Someday, when I become a somebody, I'm going to publish some poetry. Without even reading it. No, you're a hard one to figure out. And you play violin. You're willing to go out on the football field and roll in the mud with a bunch of animals. Bash your head in. It's a contradiction. Weird. You're a menace to my ego. Be serious, John. Are you playing football to prove something? I mean, it's because of your dad. Or, or is it your hearing problem? What are you trying to prove? You some kind of shrink or something? Someday that will be. Oh, no. A weirdo. Forget about practicing on me, Corey. <laughs> Don't stop. A light used to kind of go off in my brain, you know? Incest, incest. Well, yesterday you were past. Skinny little sister. I remember you as the fattest kid on the block. The only thing I really can do is you're in stereo. Why don't you try stacking up the speakers?
The next item on this evening's agenda will be the decision on the John Carluccio matter. Uh, may I have a Dr. Bauer's file? Thank you. Uh, Dr. Bauer's report was read to members of the board, and by a vote of four to two, they decided to uphold the doctor's decision. Now we the board will... can have my resignation, effective immediately. Mr. Rafferty. You mean that's it? There's no more discussion? Mr. Carluccio, the matter has been resolved. What do you mean it's been resolved? What's the word? Pride! What's the word? Pride! What's the word? Pride! We want John! We want John! We want John! I would like to know the meaning of this intrusion. John Carluccio won this for the best Little League catcher five years ago, batting 424. Very impressive. And this is for Simi Valley's most valuable football player, John Carluccio. How many more do you have? Thank you. I'm truly sorry, but... Oh, don't apologize. I just want you all to know that I think this is a gutless decision. Yeah. 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 We have a very long agenda. Mr. Henderson. Yes, John. Ever since I've been taken off the team, there's been a lot of talk, feelings. My dad, my mom, my friends, school board. It's like whether I play or not, big deal. And people are asking why. Why do I want to play? What am I trying to prove? I like to play football. Just like I like to play the violin. One really isn't more important than the other one. Now a doctor says that I can't play football. And it seems pretty simple to me. Why I don't like being told I can't do something I know that I'm capable of doing. I don't want to be told that. And I'm not going to accept being told that. Well said, John. My hands are tied. Put your hands are tied. You can take another vote here is what you do. Now, let me have your attention. Let me have your attention. By this time tomorrow, we'll be in the playoffs, which should put us in the championship game. Now, we beat these guys before on our field. We can do it again. Now, I want you guys to concentrate and execute. But you're going to have to want it bad enough. You want it bad enough? Yeah! You want it bad enough? Yeah! I'm proud of you guys. Don't disappoint me. We've come this far. Disappoint me? I'm going to cut your ears off and hang them on my belt. <laughs> and get to bed early. No partying. Okay, let's go.
And after the stands are empty, that's when you face the truth. It's not you they need. Oh no, it's the deed. It isn't you. Jess, where's Herman? He's on a forced vacation. Why? Because of him. Can you hear that? And you? How about you? Are you okay now? You were very troubled when you came to see me last week. Yes. Especially since we started classes. Good. Because when you learn sign language, and especially lip reading, then you don't have to be afraid of not communicating with anyone. That's what scared me, Benita. When Chris took my aid, I, w I was... I don't know, it made me realize that Dad's not always going to be around with a spare one. Would it be reassuring to know that sign language isn't hard to learn? You know, I feel like I'm a person finding his roots. I'm beginning to know what I'm all about. Let's go, Benita. Let's start.
Okay, who wants first on it? I do. Come on, man. Let's go. Man, you're too small. What are you talking about? Hey, you guys think you're tough? Come on, fair fight. I'll take all you apes on one by one. Just like you did with Carluccio, right? Yeah, come on, man. Oh. Me next. He's all right. From here on out, I'm going to call you Jive Iron Fist. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're approaching the end of the first half of this championship game. Simi High will kick off down by a touchdown. And the ball goes to number 33, Oscar DeRoy. He's got a wedge up the middle. He's breaking through the open field. He's out the open. He's going down the field. Gives Leroy goodbye. Touchdown. Simi High now trails by two touchdowns. They seem to have run out of miracles. They solely missed the play of their star running back, John Carluccio, disqualified earlier this season because of a hearing handicap. Jamie High is desperately in need of a scoring drive. Here comes the kickoff. Their catch call. First and ten on their own 27-yard line. Quarterback Rapp has the ball. He's fading back to pass. Oh, oh boy, did he get hit. He was sacked for a loss. Right now, it looks pretty dismal for the Jamie High fans. There's the snap. It's handed off to number 31, Lance Gannon. He's tackled for no gain. It's third down and 12. There's the snap. It's a pitch out to Lance Gannon. He's running around right in. He's pounded to the turf. Oh, he's not getting up. It looks like he may be injured. Time out on the field. If Gannon is injured, Simi's chances for victory would seem to be slipping further away. Do I have your permission to put John in the game? What? I want your permission to let him play. You got it. Hurry up and suit up. Get your ugly face in that game. You know you're committing suicide. Can you think of a better way to go? Pizzo! Hey, what do you want from me? I got a game to win. After the punt, Simi High has the ball first down on their 29-yard line. Now, wait a minute, folks. This is incredible. John Carluccio, number 45, is in uniform, and he's coming into the game. 